In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for Na2S2O3. This is sodium thiosulfate. So the first thing we're going to do is find the average oxidation number for the sulfur. This is probably what you're going to be asked to do in school. Once we're done with that, we'll look at each individual sulfur atom and find the oxidation numbers on those. But let's do the average first. So we know that this whole thing here doesn't have a minus or a plus after it. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. Sodium is in group one, so each sodium atom has a one plus oxidation number. Sulfur, that can have different oxidation numbers depending on what it's bonded to. So we don't know what that is. Let's call that X. Oxygen is going to be minus two with just a few exceptions. So we know that all of this is going to add up to zero since it's a neutral compound. So we can just make an equation. We could say two times one, that's two, plus two times X, two X, three times minus two is minus six, that equals zero. Then we just solve for x. So we have two x minus four equals zero. Add four to both sides, two x equals four. Divide both sides by two, we get x equals a positive two. So for the sulfur here in Na2S2O3, we have an average oxidation number on each sulfur here. That's gonna be plus two. Let's take a closer look at the oxidation number for each of these sulfur atoms now. So here's the structure for sodium thiosulfate. We have two, two of these sodium atoms here. Each one's plus one. And then the overall thiosulfate ion, that has an ionic charge of two minus. So the two times one plus two minus cancels out. We still have our neutral compound here. You'll notice that each sulfur is different though. When we talk about oxidation numbers, we say that the more electronegative element, that gets the electrons. This sulfur here, it's bonded to these three oxygens, which are very electronegative. Up here, it's just bonded to the other sulfur. So we would expect them to have different oxidation numbers. A good way to look at this is look at a similar compound. So here's the sulfate ion, SO4 two minus. Sulfur and oxygen are in the same group. They're right next to each other. So if we can figure out the oxidation number on the sulfur, That'll help us understand what's going on here. So we know that oxygen is going to be minus two, each one of the oxygen atoms, and that we have a two minus ionic charge on the sulfate ion. So the ion, when you have an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So all of this has to add up to two minus. The only way that's going to happen is if the sulfur is plus six. So the oxidation number on the sulfur here is plus six, plus six and minus eight. That gives us this two minus ionic charge. Back to our thiosulfate ion, so this should be plus six, and this sulfur would be minus two. All the oxygens are minus two. So plus six and minus eight, that gives us our two minus, it's equal to the ionic charge. So these are the specific oxidation numbers for each sulfur here in Na2S2O3. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Na2S2O3. Thanks for watching.